So now, for us to find the square root of this, what we need to do is to first of all evaluate what we have inside the root sign. So let me bring that out. Now, if you look at this, this is 8.1. For us to make it 81 so that we can have an easy way to find the root because 81 is a perfect square. For us to make this 81, we move the decimal point once to the right. When we move decimal point once to the right so that it becomes 81, what we do to this is to subtract 1 from the power. So anytime you move a decimal point to the right once, you subtract 1 from that power. So it becomes 81 multiplied by 10 raised to the power negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. And then all over, this is 1.44. So I, for me to make this 144 so that it becomes a whole number, which is a perfect square, I have to move this decimal point twice. So 1, 2. So when I do that, I also subtract 2 because I've moved it twice. So I subtract 2 from this power. So this becomes 144 and then multiply by 10 raised to the power 4 minus 2 is 2. So what I'm going to do now is to take the root of this. So the root of 81 is 9. All divided by the root of 144 is 12. The square root of 144 is 12. The square root of 81 is 9. And then multiply by now. I have already taken the root of this. So the root sign will no longer be here. But this other part, I have not taken the root of this. So let me work on this. This becomes 10 raised to the power negative 6. When this power is coming up, don't forget the bases are the same. So we subtract the powers. So when this power is coming up, we can subtract because it's division. So what I have there becomes 9 over 12 in its lowest term is 3 all over 4. And then multiply by 10 raised to the power negative 8 all multiplied by because the, the square root sign means raised to the power half. So this will simplify further to give me 3 over 4 multiplied by this is now what? 10 raised to power negative 4. When this multiplied become negative 4. So I can simply call this 0 0.75 multiply by 10 raised to the power negative 4. If I move this once, it becomes 7.5 and then times 10 raised to the power. I have to subtract 1 from this, negative 5. And that becomes the final answer.